So I can't get it to shift yet. I can't get a good neutral. This um, flat side out is what makes the most sense. Because that surface then would contact the bearing surface. So I'm perplexed and I get conflicting information on uh, eBay photographs and on YouTube I'm not seeing much. People take these things apart and rip them apart and they don't focus in on what I'm looking for. But um, we're going to continue. That washer, I believe it's that washer, goes on the end of the lay shaft on the right side okay now i can't find a video anywhere and i can't find a good illustration anywhere on the washer and <clears throat> i say that because it, that washer fits but i'm not a hundred percent certain that's the washer that came off the transmission i bought a replacement transmission it didn't have a washer this washer was in a bag uh, of my stuff here and it probably is, but when you're not 100% certain, it's nice to be certain. The illustration in the climbers books are awful. And uh, no one on uh, YouTube addresses it. The uh, pictures on eBay are conflicting. So, I had this crankshaft pressed in on the left side because that's what the manual says, which I'm going to show you here. And the um, machinist says, yeah, it should be okay that way. I, I get back home, the manual on the next page says press it in on the right. Really, it shouldn't matter, but it does. Because I could not get this thing to shift properly, no matter what I did, for about four hours. I have no explanation for that. So I put it in on the right side, I'm giving up, but, you know, we try. It just slips together and shifts smoother than, you know, goose shit. So, you need to press the crank in on the right, then you can put the transmission in on the right. I'm going to install this now again, and um, then I'm going to try and put the crank and the transmission together, crank in the left transmission in the right. It, it should be okay, but God only knows. So, I'll be back. So that was the correct washer for the lay shaft. And there's going to be a bunch of photographs here at the end of uh, transmission assembly. Show you the spacers, the way the gears face. So the stall second gear with this dog recess is facing towards the right side. Well, this is the flat side. Hold on. There's the recess side, right? This is the photograph they give you. That's figure 38, right? So it's really, really difficult. So um, I'm going this way here in. So putting these shift forks in, I found they only really go in one way. So figure that out. Put the drum in next. Without that, that goes on the other side, right? Okay, we're almost there. So that's what it looks like. See, that's on one side. Okay, so here's your 530-ish position for neutral. Alright. Okay, and that hole will line up with that pin, with that notch, okay? Okay, so transmission is at 4 o'clock on the shift drum, which puts it in first gear. So watch this little shift drum here and you'll see this move. There's neutral, that's 5.30, there's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, see where that moved up, and it shifts 
very smoothly. I have no idea why I wouldn't do this in the left engine case. Make sure you keep your fork uh, shafts secure. All right, so that's what it should look like. You've got a washer on the inside of the this lay shaft, not here. You have if you've moved these, if you removed them, replace them. Well, it went together fairly easy once you put the transmission in the right side of the engine case. So, so there's your lesson in uh, transmission installation.